home now without the car. The car is gone. It is no more. It's the end of an era. Really Bye, is. car. This is the story of my worst wild camping experience. The story of how one person's anger towards wild camping ended with violence. And it's also the day that little car camper's wheels stopped turning for the last time. I'll start at the beginning. Let's go back to the morning. One puncture and three new tyres later, and we're back on the road to find our next wild camping spot for night seven of our car and wild camping Snowdonia adventure. We found ourselves near Linogwin. Even on a weekday, we marvelled at how busy it was. It was then I discovered a nearby lake, Finon Lugwi. With cars parked at the bottom of a track on Google Maps, and with the only sign stating to, of course, not block the gate, it felt like we were onto a winner. Another car then pulled up to the other side of us. With his large tripod in tow, he confirmed that he was heading up the walkway to the lake. We felt further reassurance that this was somewhere the locals parked, and felt happy leaving the car there. For reference, it was about 5pm. I hope by sharing this location that no one ever falls victim to the same attack from the local angry farmer as I did. So let's go back to the start of the camp. There's Trifan over there. Here's where we're leaving the car. Here's where we're going. So we think we found quite a little quiet lake spot for tonight. Um, it's near Linogwan and that little busy area and yeah so hopefully I think I've been quite clever in where we've parked and how I found it and thinking we're going to be fairly alone tonight so that's always good in Snowdonia in September. See that little dot up there? That's Amy at the top of the hill. And here's me back at the bottom because why we forgot the water filter and we realized when we was right at the top it doesn't look that steep from here but I promise you I promise it's steep <laughs> tiny little week I said this was an easy walk <laughs> not so easy yeah, well, I would just do an easy camp tonight. You know, we've been out on the road a long time now. I'll see shush, Dannon. <laughs> oh, it's not easy. <laughs> no, it's very, very steep. <laughs> oh, but we're a lot of sheep. <laughs> hopefully nearly there. Yeah. Hey, 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 but look at that though. <sighs> so nice. Just over this hill, it's just going to be nestled within these, in these mountains. I can't confirm that it was not just up there. But it is, in fact, now just up here. <laughs> it's been such a lovely walk, though. Definitely recommend it. Gorgeous views of the Nogwin and Trifan. And this is looking quite funky as well, coming up here. Look, we found a fake rock. <laughs> Why are you here, fake rock? Probably yeah, covering electrics. electrics. Yeah. <laughs> Needed to know. So here we are at Lynn mm, Beep. And don't know what this is. They've covered up the car park, which is here. There's no longer access to the world's most perfect car camping or van spot ever. Meanies. But yeah, here's our location. Very flat ground over there. I mean, we might come there or we might find some around there. We shall see. Yeah. Should we ditch the bags? All right, Aussie. Oh my God, that feels so nice to take the bag off. <laughs> I feel like a partial humpback, hunchback, I mean. 
Okay, the dogs can have a little bit of freedom because we've been through a million gates and there is a wall over here. Fence, 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 fence. All the cows and the sheep are being kept over there. So one place is right here. We can put it. Or oh, we're just going to check just up here as well. And I've triple, quadruple checked about the animal situation and no animals can get in here. They're all fenced out. So... Oh, we've got the tent up. My, one of my little things went tight in at the bottom, so it's a little bit gappy at the back, but I'll try and fix that later after a little drink and a sit down. Oi, Tink! So I'm using this Airstream pump sack to pump up my bag, or well, I was, pump up my mat. I think that's trying to tell me that it's done anyway. Look at this, I'm being spoiled. Never had a sleeping bag this small. <laughs> Look at it. So this is my Alp kit. Pipe Dream 400, I think, no, is it that? Can't even remember what my own face called now. Cool, so pretty much set up in here now. Got a little air off, seat of cement, pillow. I'll just take you inside. Oh no, I've had a spillage. Very nice and neat. Right, so we've got sheep being herded onto the field and the mountainside by a quad. So we're just gonna hide up up here. Hopefully look like we're just chilling and not get moved on by the farmer. We have been greeted with these sheep everywhere. So the sheep are now making their way around the lake in an orderly fashion. Such a clear night. The moon's just popping up over this cliff. Hey, moon. So clear and beautiful. We can see so many stars. We've been watching a light climbing up Trifan in the dark. And a couple coming down. Yeah. <laughs> Hoping they're okay. Good night, moon. <laughs> Watching the clouds flow to the top. Yeah, just hanging out here, enjoying waking up in this nature, whether it's raining or not. Still beautiful, I still love it so much. Good morning from our little lakeside hideaway. It's a rainy one this morning. And um, we've had clouds rolling in from that way and it's been it's been quite nice but the raincoats have come out for the first time. How's it feel? Oh yeah. Bringing them out yeah. again. <laughs> um, yeah, the sheep are like chilling just over there. They're all up beside this mountain. The farmer came and let them in at sunset last night. <laughs> we were there thinking Oh, the dogs, they've got, finally, they've got some cool place to run around in. There's no sheep. We've got fences and gates everywhere, but it wasn't to be. We've got some beautiful clouds over here. It's kind of looking like some sort of misty kind of sandstorm just rolling in. It's about 
uh, 6.45, there's a little tent. Dogs are still asleep in there. How did you sleep, babe? Mm, it was a little bit slippy on my mat and had a few dog paws to the face. <laughs> so we're gonna make some coffee, I think, and then head down pretty soon so we don't see Mr. Farmer again on his quad. But yeah, it's been nice, been very nice. So you know I went back for that water filter yesterday, the Catadin water filter. Have we used it? No, we haven't. Didn't realise I had a bit of water still left in one of the bags from the other day. So I'm having to use this cheapy like five pound stove because my Primus light plus won't ignite, the ignition won't light and then when it does it goes poof and singes my hair on my hands and it's just a bit dangerous so using this and it's working just the same better because obviously the other one's not working right so all the final checks done no trace has been left just the way it should be <laughs> so coming back from the car from my camp I have four flat tires and a smashed windscreen and a smashed window complete with rock inside Poor car. Are you still on hold, babe? Yeah. I've been on the phone for 57 minutes. For someone who didn't want us to stay here, they've made us stay here a real long time. <laughs> Strange. Yeah. Trying to get rescued from this place. The breakdown people don't cover it. So, on the phone with the insurance, and it's looking like it's going to be bye bye to the car. It's going to have to get scrapped and I'm going to have to make a claim but it's not going to be repairable apparently because of the damage so it's probably going to be bye bye car so the farmers literally killed our car murdered it for a... even yesterday somebody else was parked just over there not blocking the gate as well another local person walking no gate access blocked at all. We saw it probably yesterday when he came in and heard the tree. I guess really hate to our campers because it's not like we're in the way of the gate. So what other reason could it be? No, nothing was stolen from the car. Nothing was stolen. So we made a police report mainly just for the insurance purposes. Not that that's going to help me at all because apparently because of the age of the car it's just not economical for them to repair it so that's it for the car I guess he wasn't strong enough to smash this one fully Oh you guys You look so comfy Oh, I'm gonna have to say goodbye to this car camp in bed, guys. Sad. Even if wild camping is technically not allowed, but everyone does it, you just come and ask someone to move on. We literally would have moved on. You don't do this. This is childish. This is a child letting out his rage. The insurance said we were in a safe place and they were ready to leave us there. They said as we were not on the road, they couldn't do anything for us and our car full of stuff, only to take away the car, to then leave us on the side of the road where we were vandalised with a roof box full of stuff and two dogs. 
But thanks to Guali recovery, we headed back to their depot with the car in tow to await rescue in a much safer situation. How long has it taken? <laughs> to help us get back to the Midlands, they offered me a cheque for £30 sent to my address in the Midlands. Luckily, I have some great family members that were able to come and rescue us with roof bars so we could attach the roof box and then get home with all of our stuff. The rescue party has arrived. So if it wasn't for my uncle and the recovery firm bending the rules for us just a little, we would have been pretty stuck as we had little to no internet and by this point I'd realised my bank card had also been taken. I guess to further add to our ordeal of getting home. So, a word of warning for everyone travelling with a roof box or dogs, vandalism probably will not be covered by your breakdown and is also classed as a fault claim by your insurance, meaning after such an incident you are on your own. Enjoying a lovely sunset at the recovery garage. Awaiting our rescue that has arrived. We're going home now without the car. The car is gone. It is no more. My car. Its last little resting place is just over there. You might be able to see the roof bars. It's the end of an era. Really Bye, is. car. Thanks for watching. I hope this doesn't discourage you in further camps. Just make sure you park safely and just be aware that sometimes these things can happen. Take care and enjoy nature. Subscribe now, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss the rest of the adventure.